Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about uh, the few steps that I uh, follow just to have nice hair and healthy hair and just to help my, uh, my hair after three sessions of bleaching just to recover his health and uh, to look better because we all want to have a nice hair. So my uh, eight steps for uh, having a nice and healthy hair and to help you how to repair your hair are this. First of all, if you want to have a nice shiny hair, you have to switch your pillowcase with a silk one because the traditional with uh, uh, cotton will uh, make your hair damage and uh, when you turn all around in the night when you sleep your hair tend to broke and uh, to have more split ends I uh, from my personal opinion and experience I have uh, I guess one year since I uh, have used uh, this type of uh, silk pillowcase and I noticed a huge difference in my uh, hair condition because like I said I have bleached my hair three times in the last year and uh, my hair is fine uh, with a problematic scalp and uh, I have to pay more attention when I take care of my hair so uh, if you struggle with your mid ends or maybe your hair is drier than usual maybe you will uh, you should consider to, to change your pillowcase with a silk one. Uh, there are more expensive, but um, I only have two and I rotate them. But I will assure you that uh, you will notice a huge difference in your hair condition. So give it a try to, this, uh, to these tips. My second tip is to use always a good shampoo for your hair type. In this uh, part I uh, can't discuss very much because all of us have different type of hair. Maybe your hair is curly, is uh, thin or uh, maybe it's color like mine or bleach. And all of us need different shampoo with different properties. So now that I uh, have bleach hair with this uh, ashy cold tone, I just use Munir toning shampoo boost it isn't a bottle of uh, sephora shampoo because uh, i uh, have bought my shampoo for my hairdresser but in the next period i will buy uh, the bottle of uh, munir i uh, notice a huge difference when i use this so if you are uh, blonde uh, watch this part to see how i uh, maintain my uh, my color because uh, I spend so many hours at the salon and uh, it isn't cheap to color your hair and to have a nice balayage so uh, you don't want to ruin using the wrong uh, product and the wrong shampoo so for uh, my uh, type of hair and color Munir is the best because uh, this have small particle that penetrate your cuticle and um, help to, to maintain your ashy cold tone. In the past I was using Fanola shampoo. That uh, shampoo has a very uh, strong uh, color. I uh, was using with gloves because my hands uh, tend to be purple but with this one I uh, don't have to use uh, any gloves and uh, I don't uh, have uh, color on my hand. This is uh, because this shampoo Munir has very small particle that uh, easily penetrates your uh, hair. The particle in Fanola shampoo are bigger. This is the explication that my hairdresser uh, gave to me. And uh, it tends to deposit on your uh, hair, but it, it wash uh, very, very easily. So for blonde uh, hair, this shampoo is, uh, is best for my scalp. Uh, and for my mid end, I um, I want to tell you that my scalp is problematic and I have a very dry with uh, some dandruff uh, period of uh, dry flakes. So uh, it isn't easier to to find a good shampoo that I can use on uh, mid ends and on the root. 
Uh, beside of this, I uh, have watched a lot of YouTube video when a lot of hairdressers told us that you should only wash your scalp with the shampoo, not to use uh, on your mid ends because it will dry your hair and uh, you should only use on the scalp. I uh, follow this uh, principle for so many months and um, I didn't see some uh, improvement or some changes in my uh, hair health but with this shampoo I guess when you find a good shampoo you can use it on your mid end on all over your hair too so uh, pay attention I can't recommend you which type of shampoo you can use it but I prefer the professional ones I have used the drugstore the natural shampoo but for my type of uh, scalp and uh, hair it didn't work but um, talking about the price maybe the professional are uh, more uh, expensive but uh, you just use a tiny bit of product so pay attention with the quantity of the product that you use because you can overload your hair with a lot of product that uh, will just build up on your scalp and on your uh, uh, length so your hair uh, will be more greasier and uh, not so shiny and bouncy and uh, nice uh, when you touch it. My uh, third tips is to use a good mask. I uh, give up on my conditioner because uh, my hair now need more hydration and with hair mask I feel that my hair received the hydration that uh, he needs. I was using a lot of time uh, this Kerastase uh, mask that you have already saw in my other video but now I uh, have uh, this uh, purple mask from Oligo. Uh, also from my hairdresser and just I uh, put in the old Kerastase mask uh, white one. Uh, I mention white because you have to pay attention if you have ashy colton with the color of your product because uh, if your product tend to have keratin or other natural ingredient that change the color of the product could uh, ruin your hair if you don't see, didn't see my uh, old video how I ruined my ashy colton in uh, spring, I will insert the link in the description box to see how uh, professional shampoo Davines ruined my color in just one week because I uh, didn't be was uh, aware of uh, this. Uh, this problem and uh, if you have a uh, good hairdresser that uh, study a lot you will uh, she will uh, tell you that you have to pay attention when you are blonde what uh, about the product and the color of the product that you use if you don't have blonde hair it isn't a problem you can use any product any color of product you want just to to, to uh, be on your hair needs Talking about mask, I use every time I wash my hair. I wash my hair two times per week and if, you are, I, if I have more time I let my hair mask 10 minutes but uh, usually I only let uh, 5 minutes but it is better to let more and uh, to uh, help your hair hydrate more. Fourth tip is to use a leave-in conditioner. I uh, just uh, started to use um, about six months ago and uh, I noticed that my hair uh, is, is more hydrated. You capture the hydration from your mask on your hair, but after you dry it, the moisture and the hydration tend to disappear. So you need a product that uh, rebuild your uh, hydration on your uh, hair so uh, my personal preference is this red can live in i use it a lot i have this uh, much of product it is uh, special for uh, color hair and uh, it is uh, a good treatment for anti-breakage with uh, protein and uh, ph balance formula 
uh, it will help you to retain your moisture that your mask put on your hair so if you aren't uh, uh, using certain type of uh, leave-in I uh, recommend you to, to start using because you will notice a difference after a couple of weeks and uh, also if you have uh, thin hair or uh, fine hair like I do you should uh, go for a leave-in that is uh, in a spray it uh, deposit just a tiny bit of product on your hair and uh, you didn't feel uh, greasier or heavy if you have fine hair like I do. My uh, five tips is to use a hair oil. My uh, hair oil that I use now is this Olaplex. I just use a tiny bit of uh, this oil. It has a light formula but it is very concentrated. I only use five or seven drops on my mid ends and I don't use it every day. Some hairdressers recommend it to use it every day on your mid ends because you will give extra shine and moisture to your hair, especially on the mid ends. You, you, you know that you don't have to use it on your scalp because it, it, it is um, make uh, your hair more greasier so just in the this part i uh, i use is the part that uh, my hair uh, have a lot of breakage and damage from the the bleach so find a good hair oil that suit your hair needs and uh, use it uh, maybe when you wash your hair or you only on your when you feel that your hair is dry and needs uh, some uh, moisture and uh, that extra shine uh, sparkle. My six tips tips is to use a bond repair product. If you have bleach hair and color hair, you should use a bond repair. I now use this K18 leave-in mask, but I have uh, used uh, the Olaplex number three. These two. I guess uh, are the best but if you have natural hair and uh, or if you don't color your hair or uh, your hair is healthy you can skip this uh, this step because uh, this bond repair product are uh, usually meant to be used by person that have damaged hair with chemical process with uh, bleach and uh, repeatedly, repeatedly uh, color process. So if you have natural color, natural hair, you don't have to use it because you will not see any difference in your uh, hair uh, health. But if you have processed hair uh, with uh, a lot of bleach or other kind of stuff, I highly recommend it to use some kind of bond repair product. When I use this leave-in, I don't use the mask and I don't use the red can leave-in. I just use the shampoo. I shampoo two times and after I apply a small amount of this uh, product, maybe two or three pumps, it came very easily with this type of uh, pumps and apply on my uh, hands, rub it very well and just apply on my mid ends, never on my scalp. My seven tips. It is uh, extra, but um, I use this type of product. I don't know. They uh, said that is a mousse for uh, volume and shine. It is cert uh, kind of leave-in, I guess, but uh, in uh, mousse formula. It is also from Munir, and it is easier to apply for my fine hair. It didn't weigh down my hair. This is why I love so much this product, and I alternate with my K18. When I don't use K18, I use this Munir mousse and I don't use the red can because I feel that my hair uh, accumulate more uh, product and I don't like when I touch my hair to have uh, such an amount of product. So uh, you can give it a try uh, to this type of product or maybe other type of product, some leave-in that gives extra shine and uh, volume to your hair. Uh, they say that gives volume, but I don't apply uh, on my scalp, just on my mid ends. And I see some volume, but not uh, so much. But I like 
how it feels my hair more uh, hydrated and more, more uh, flexible when I use it. My eight tips is uh, the last one and uh, maybe I should uh, start with this at the uh, first, uh, first tip but you should invest in a good hairbrush. So it has some uh, hair. Uh, you should invest in a good hairbrush. I use for so many years the wet brush, the tangle teaser. I have also a video on my channel when I uh, talk about my uh, experience with different type of brushes. But now at my hair desk recommendation when uh, I uh, go last time at um, at her salon to just turn, turning my hair, she told me to buy Olivia Garden Supreme uh, Ceramic Brush. But in the past, I guess I talk about this in my video about brushes, and I uh, didn't like it because it wasn't a fake. I buy it from a local store, but I don't know what the problem was, but the brush that I use uh, two years ago, it hasn't compared with this one. It is more flexible and it doesn't uh, pull out my hair and uh, didn't um, notice some breakage after I use it that uh, sincerely I uh, have some uh, emotions when I uh, buy it uh, online uh, from a site where my hairdresser buys her, her uh, supplies and her product. But um, I thinking that what can happen? Another bad, bad brush that uh, I will uh, donate or give it to another person if I don't like it. But I have a nice, nice experience with this. And look, I even my hair, it is um, curled with my headband. And uh, I sleep with my headband and sometimes my hair... Uh, tend to uh, not to be so easy to, to brush it in the morning. I like so much how this brush it feels on my hair. It didn't uh, pulls my hair. It didn't... Uh, I don't know. I really, really like it. And I uh, really uh, encourage you just to give it a try. I don't use it on wet hair. So I don't know how uh, will go on wet hair because the brushing on wet hair will uh, cause breakage and damage, me mechan mechanical damage to your hair. So it isn't recommended uh, with any of the brushes to wash to brush your hair when it is wet. Uh, I was brushing with wet brush, but uh, I stopped uh, doing this uh, because I uh, I feel that uh, even that brush is is made for uh, wet hair. Uh, I uh, I find hair on the brush and uh, in sometimes uh, a huge amount of hair on that brush when I brush my hair wet. So I uh, just uh, take a, go, a nice uh, uh, coffee and um, I will continue to give you last bonus tips you should eat healthy when you want to have a nice hair i know this is the hardest part of all we all can buy product maybe cheaper maybe uh, pricey but uh, it is hard even for me it is hard that uh, you maintain a healthy diet with uh, good fats and fiber just to have nice hair but this is the truth. You can have uh, um, pills or uh, something miracle just to grow out your hair. All the products that uh, claim to grow your hair faster and to make your hair shinier are, uh, from my personal opinion, a scam. Because if you eat junk food, if you don't drink enough water, if you are a stressful person, you won't see any result even if you use I know I don't know uh, expensive product or a product that uh, claim to grow out your hair faster and stronger and longer and some like this for health and to 
see result on our hair and also on our skin. We should eat uh, vegetable and uh, protein and uh, to cut off the junk food and uh, the sweets. Uh, we know uh, the Christmas is near and uh, on this period of time uh, we all eat a lot of uh, food, we go with our families maybe in vacation and uh, we eat a uh, tiny bit of uh, product which aren't so healthy or some sweets but uh, we should stay with uh, some uh, balance in our life like in all, all the domain of our life just to maintain our hair if uh, we have already nice hair, healthy hair, just to maintain it and to give the proper uh, root that uh, he can grow out uh, longer and shinier and uh, stronger. Or if you are like me that struggle with your hair, with your hair health and uh, you want to grow your hair longer, stronger and uh, to repair the damage that you cause when you want uh, some color. We should more pay attention to what we, we eat. And beside of this, uh, in the summer it is easier to drink water, I know, but uh, in the cold period also our body needs to drink water and to drink uh, tea maybe which is uh, hot and uh, you warm your uh, your soul and your uh, body with a hot uh, tea. Uh, reduce the amount of coffee. At this point I'm not good because I drink three or four coffee per day with milk and sweetened. But I drink coffee. I don't think that coffee makes my hair bad or uh, something like this but uh, Coffee, when you, you drink a lot, is not health, healthier and is not good for your health overall. So, uh, my advice is to try at least to eat one meal balance. Uh, start it with one meal, just not to feel overwhelmed. And after you incorporate this problem with one meal, you will feel that it is more easier just to maintain this uh, balanced, uh, healthy lifestyle in your life with the other meals. I am not adapted to a diet because a diet is this from uh, one restricted period and after you see the result, maybe you lose weight and you achieve your hair uh, dream. If you return to your old habit with bad food, you just ruin what you struggle to do in your diet period. So I guess you, you and me also, we have to stick with a healthy lifestyle just to help our body to produce more nutrients and to have a nice base just to grow out your hair. I uh, hope that all my advice uh, will help you to repair your hair if he, if he is damaged and to grow longer, stronger hair to achieve uh, that dream hair that you want. We all know that for women uh, the hair it is a crown that you never uh, take off. I like this. Uh, this works a lot so uh, pay attention on your health and the result on your hair uh, will uh, will appear i um, i want to read you know uh, your commentary if you use certain product that i mentioned in this video or if you have any other suggestion uh, just to improve your hair health and to repair your damaged hair i'm glad to have you here and uh, I am grateful that we hit uh, 115 subscribers. So I hope this year that um, come, because we are in the last uh, month of this year. In the next year, uh, my channel will grow 
much and I will uh, continue doing uh, interesting video for you guys especially on hair care because this is the topic that I like and that um, makes me happy talk about it and uh, I always want to try different product to make different reviews for you guys just to give it uh, an advice or uh, to see others uh, experience with a certain uh, product Beside of that we all are different and maybe what works for me will not work for you but you have another opinion uh, like you I uh, search on uh, YouTube also nice video about hair care and uh, I enjoy to watch it with a nice uh, cup of coffee in my uh, free time and to see what product are new on market what uh, opinion um, some girls gives about uh, their product and uh, hopefully uh, this is the opinion uh, that uh, you make when you watch my uh, my video on my channel too so uh, thank you very much that you stick with me and I will continue to make uh, interesting I think uh, video for you guys so uh, in the commentary section please tell me if you want to see more videos about hair care or uh, some uh, uh, homemade mask for hair or other topics of hair or other um, subject I uh, will be glad to, to read them. So have a nice day and uh, thank you very much for watching my video. Bye bye guys.